modifications. Right behind me I have two cars in for superchargers. Both of them are street legal and you won't have to avoid it by getting hassled by a cop if you get pulled over or when your smog uh, time comes around. I have a Subaru BRZ that we're putting an Edel Rock supercharger on and I have a Mustang GT Audi 5.0 they were putting a uh, Roush 2.3 liter supercharger system on it's gonna bump up the factory power of around 420 all the way to 670 horsepower I'm gonna have Daniel knock it out have you guys ever driven a car with a supercharger it's insane the power delivery it just it blows your mind away check it out so when I say we're known for doing performance mods Daniel's done over a hundred supercharger installs why have we gotten that many? Because we know what we're doing and we do it all the time. Daniel pays attention to detail. He makes sure everything that he does is clean, is tidy, and second of all, last. We make sure that these customers can push these cars to the limit, whether it's on the track, close course, doing whatever they want to do with them, and not have any failures. And that's what sets us apart from everyone else. So while Daniel's working behind me, I'm going to go through and show you guys all the parts that are involved in a Roush Supercharger kit. So the unit we have here is the actual blower assembly. So this has the actual veins in there. So the belt off the vehicle will rotate this input shaft and it moves these two impellers. Uh, the impellers will grab in air from the outside, uh, from the air filter, grab in air through the intake, compress it, and then push it through the intercooler and down to the engine, giving you more power. And this is where the intake pipe will come in and then the exit, the compressor, will go down from over here into the intercooler. So instead of having like a front mount intercooler or intercooler that needs to go on the front bumper over there, this unit gets sandwiched between the supercharger, goes the intercooler, then the engine's right below it. It's cold air, it's more dense, and it has more oxygen molecules. The more oxygen molecules you have, the more power you can make. So that's the idea behind it. So you have the actual blower unit, the intercooler, and then over here, what we have is the cooling uh, system for the uh, supercharger kit. It comes with a standalone reservoir, you have a standalone water pump that's gonna flow and uh, circulate the coolant through the system. You have your extra hoses that you need. You have an air box, high performance air filter, and with a cap, it's all gonna be mounted in the vehicle. And in a nutshell, there's a lot of smaller pieces involved, but these are the big pieces involved in a supercharger. So another part of the superchargers on cars is making sure their tuning is done right. So we set up our computer that links up to the Ford software or whatever the vehicle is uh, and communicates with it. We download the software onto the vehicle and then we have to test it and make sure everything's working out. Daniel's behind me uh, talking with the guys at the company uh, at Roush that made the blower and they're figuring out the tune for this vehicle behind me. Behind me is an F-150 truck that we've been uh, fixing up for a special project. Come check it out. It's an 08 F-150. We wrapped it, matte green, kind of gave it that military theme, did a bunch of the accents in black, like the grill. The headlights were a little bit faded and dull, so we changed them out. We did a leveling kit on the suspension, put some Nitto tires on there, XD wheels. Our friends over at Linex were nice enough to Linex the bed for us. The bed wasn't treated before, so it was scratched and had a bunch of nicks and chips on it, but now with Linex, you can use this bed for years and have no issues. So I have Manny working on uh, one of the first rockets that are coming off our production line. It's gonna go to our customers, so we're doing the final cut and buff and uh, making sure it's ready for the customer to take delivery. Let's go check it out. What's up guys? So I got a Raptor behind me. We wanted to modify a Raptor and get it ready for sale for the Galpin Ford showroom. We had the Rev Auto Show coming up, so we decided to grab the car. I called the guys at 1221 Wheels. I said, hey, I want a set of unique wheels. They'll fit this truck and I want to run 37s, make it happen. So they custom made a set of wheels for us, finished it, got it out here in time. I ordered a set of 37 inch Toyo Open Country RT uh, tires. And again, 37 by 12.5 by 20. 
threw it on there. We put an SVC leveling kit on the truck and we are clearing it without any rubbing, uh, which is phenomenal. Normally on these trucks, you gotta do a lot of trimming to get a 37 to rub, but the guys at 1221 dialed in the specs perfectly. Uh, I threw a tonneau cover on it. When it went to the show, the bottom uh, cladding was still factory. It wasn't uh, color match. And I thought it's missing something. You know, we need to do something else. So we painted everything monotone, the grill, the cladding, everything. And I think it looks phenomenal. But I want you guys to check out the show at Brev Auto and let me know what you guys think about those cars. There were some beautiful cars on display and I honestly was uh, blown away at the caliber cars out there. So Daniel knocked out the supercharger. It's all buttoned up and ready to go. He took it on a road test, everything's dialed in. We're just gonna get the car washed and ready to go to the customer. What do you think? I'm, I'm speechless to be honest. So you guys did a really good job, honestly. What's going on guys? I have a rocket that's getting ready to go to its new owner. So we had it detailed, all cleaned up, all the final touches were done to it. The customer actually chose a beautiful blue interior for us to wrap it in. So everything's done in Italian leather, uh, Brembo brake upgrade, uh, Whipple supercharger, and I can't wait till you guys see it and let me know what you guys think. Mr. Henrik Fisker here with us at the Rocket Reveal and I uh, wanted to ask him a few quick questions. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, thank you. I want to see how you feel having uh, you know, one of the first rockets delivered, yeah. being here in person. Thank you so much for being here. This was a real you know, fun project between Bo and myself and uh, we had a lot of fun bringing this idea to fruition of this extreme Mustang and I think the customer looks really happy. You know, I'm looking forward to see him just cruising around LA and then hopefully stopping by again and showing me the car. Awesome, thank you so much, sir. And we have the customer here who's taking delivery of the first rocket, actually uh, his rocket. I'm gonna introduce you to him uh, and get his uh, impression of the vehicle. How are you, Mr. Eubanks? Doing all right, Good how you doing? You. Thank you so much. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your first impressions when you uh, came around the corner and saw the rocket? Yeah. yeah. So to see today, knowing that I can drive it up a lot, it's just amazing. On top of that, to have Fisker here at the same time to sign on the car, um, all of it was just matching for me. Because uh, I'm a car nut, and uh, this car is special to me, and I suspect that it will be for a long time. Wonderful. Again, well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it, and we hope you enjoy your rocket. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you guys have it. Another happy customer just picking up his rocket. He's ecstatic. We're very happy to be able to deliver the car to him. Can't wait to see him driving around and enjoying it out on the streets. Leave us your comments. What do you guys think? Would you guys own a Mustang rocket if you could? Mm -hmm.